for question 28, a colorless solution labeled as Q was found to form a white precipitate upon addition of aqueous sodium hydroxide. And this white precipitate did not dissolve in excess NaOH. So based on this first uh, statement, right, whenever you see NaOH, okay, this is a QA question. So whenever you see NaOH, you need to link it to the test for cations. So which is the cation that would give you a white PPT that is insoluble in excess uh, NaOH? Okay, if you refer to the cation table, right, the only um, cation that gives you this observation is Ca2+. Okay, Al3+, um, Na+, Zn2+, um, it won't give you this observation. For AL3 plus and ZN2 plus, right, you will get a white PPT that is soluble in excess NaOH okay, to form a colorless solution. And for Na plus, you won't even form any precipitate. Okay, so straight away, I would know that the answer is B, but let's look at the second part of this question. Okay, which is the resulting mixture was heated after addition of a piece of aluminium foil, giving off a gas that turned moist red litmus paper blue. So when it turns moist red litmus paper blue, right, it means that there's production of an alkaline gas. And in your syllabus, the only alkaline gas that you are required to know is ammonia gas. And also, whenever you see aluminium under QA, right, um, link it to the test for nitrate. Okay, we call that to test for nitrate is a three-step process. First one is you add in an alkaline. So in this case, they already added in sodium hydroxide. Then after that, you add in aluminium foil. Third step is to warm gently. If nitrate is present, ammonia gas will be produced. Okay, which is the case. So this means that your colorless solution Q, it contains your nitrate anions. So that's why answer is B.